the most doubtful would be Kenny. Um, he hasn't improved uh, an awful lot between um, what he did on Friday and today. So he's not definitely ruling him out, but he would be the most doubtful. Um, Dan Fletcher and Craig McHale Smith will have uh, will do a little bit today and we'll have fitness tests tomorrow. As yet, I can't give you any definitive answer on that. Ankle, ankle problem. Barry Bannon? Barry Bannon uh, will do a little bit today. Barry's problem will be um, whether he can he can get his boot on and uh, and it doesn't open up the the injury again. It's a very awkward place, and uh, you know we're hopeful that that we can put some sort of padding or strapping or something on it that'll that'll prevent it from opening up again. So again, he will probably be tomorrow before we we make a, a definite decision. Uh, is that not enough for you? No? <laughs> um, yeah, we've got some little, but nothing that's going to going to be of any concern. Like the last season, you got your team in your head and there's an old just in case. Yeah, well, this is a little bit different. I haven't done um, an awful lot of uh, work on Spain as yet. It's very difficult when there are so many uh, players that are that are doubtful and important players. So I uh, will do some work today and uh, yeah, tonight will be, it might, tonight won't even be decision time, I think it could even be tomorrow actually, in fact it will be tomorrow. Is it a good game where you have to strike the right balance between defence and attack? Yeah, yeah, it's a good, uh, it's a good point. We, we will need to have our defensive players at the top of the game and uh, we will need the rest of the team to do their duties defensively um, to give us a platform to to win the game and that uh, obviously means that we'll have to, to go forward and, and try and score a goal at every opportunity and we understand that. In terms of the, the, the touch and the technique and just the general and quality of this Spanish team, is there a couple of guys to step up even more in terms of concentration? Application. Yeah, concentration will be important. The application I'm not worried about because I know we'll get that. Uh, and it is, it's, it's, concentration's a huge part of it. Players not switching off for a second and, uh, and allowing the ability of the Spanish to, to hurt us. So we, we understand all that. We, we have fairly recent experience of, of playing against uh, playing against Spain and uh, we know what to expect. We, we've had a Spain are a team and the Spanish players are players that, we, that our players see every weekend on television and play against and so there's no you know hidden secrets here from from the players or from myself we know what to expect um, and we're determined to you know to do our best to win the match. Dan Fletcher was saying earlier on how much he's enjoying the role of being the elder statesman that you're bringing yeah. on the young boys Almost as a teacher, how much of an extra responsibility is there on a guy like that and you're looking at him Yeah, himself, Kenny Muller, Gary Caldwell, um, three important players I mentioned I think before we left. Uh, Phil Bardsley is another one that I believe is, like those guys, is captain material. And uh, those are important players because they set the, the tone not just on the park but off the park as well. And, uh, you know, Dan. Uh, accepts all his res responsibilities and uh, I think he flourishes with responsibility. You saw again how uh, determined he is to play every match that he can for Scotland and uh, it can't have been easy for him on Saturday after feeling unwell early part of the week. So the performance that he put on is just a, is a, is a mark of the man, you know, just uh, how important it is to this team is almost beyond words. And, and does that spread? Players, younger players particularly, look at that and they almost rise to be that level themselves. Yeah, I think every team, every player on our team will aspire to be as good as Darren Fletcher. Do you watch lots of videos of Spain today? What are the mistakes that other countries tend to make against us? I, I, th I think it's a bit harsh to, to look, <laughs> look at the mistakes that the teams make. It's so more, more it's a more about the quality of the of the Spanish team. And uh, that, the, the point that I made earlier on about concentration is one that 
is we all have to make sure that, that we concentrate fully for the for the 90 minutes and what, however long beyond 90 minutes we need to, to play. And as you can imagine, it's mentally uh, tiring, you know, constantly trying to take in information, you know, through your eyes and, and react to the way the ball is in the pitch. And the, the point is the ball changes position so often and so quickly that all it needs is one lapse in concentration to to result in a, in a chance for, for Spain. So we understand that, you know, we understand what we're facing. Does it feel like it's more like Switzerland did it at the World Cup or if they did Portugal did it? Yeah, there's no doubt that their competitive record is exemplary, you know, uh, other than Switzerland beating them, I think they'd won 50 odd games or something ridiculous like that um, beforehand. So uh, we we understand, as I say, we we understand the the, uh, and the self-belief in the players. has, has, you know, gone up a couple of levels, uh, and this we see as a challenge, and not as a, not as something to be afraid of. It's something to, to relish, and that's how the players are viewing this. That's how I view it. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, they won't be overawed by the occasion. Um, you know, we, we have players who are playing week in and week out in the Premiership. Um, and we have players with self-belief and those two things help they're not just that it's the belief in each other and in the team that's important yeah well you have no control over that but i'd be happy to see them how much do you relish the challenge that is i feel you international yeah. where would you assess it in terms of how big I don't see it as a big task for me. I'm, I'm fortunate that I'm working with, with good players. Uh, and I, again, like the players, I relish this sort of experience. I took the job for just this sort of occasion. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow night just as much as the players are. Craig, is it significant for the challenge that you're facing um, with a, a lost you play that you're the Yeah, Yeah, there are certain players I'm sure will play that we you know we expect to play. There might be one or two that haven't played in the game on Friday who will make an appearance. But uh, if you can point out which ones were weak I'd be very grateful, you know. <laughs> no, I mean you know and I know that whoever they bring in is is I suppose just a different type of challenge, that's all. What encouragement did you take from the home game against Spain? Well, well, I took encouragement just because of the way we played and the fact that we created chances and scored goals. But the, the players themselves, uh, for, in my eyes, kicked on after that game. You know, that was the start of the progress. And uh, we, we have nothing to fear in this game. It's important that everybody understands that. You know, we we relish it. We're looking forward to the challenge. We've, as I said at the start, we've played Spain recently and, and performed well. And I think we're a much better team than we were a year ago. No sense of a few got to take no, none at all. No, we'll play the same system, and uh, you know, Goodwillie played against uh, Lithuania, did very well. So, I mean, the players are in the squad because I believe in them, and uh, if he needs to play, he'll play. Yeah, yeah, it's an option, but at this point in time, you know, I've, I've had sort of swayed back and forward between the two but Stephen playing in midfield is almost like a second striker so if I play him up front then I'd lose that that second capability to score goals so. Yeah I mean we're, we're, you know, there's a bit, a bit of uh, bad news to arrive before we get to that point if you know what I mean we'd have to rule, we'd have to rule out both of our strikers and at this point in time I'm not prepared to do that so we'll see but I'm just saying if if needs be, then, then David will play. How difficult a role would Corby in this particular game? How difficult it was? It's a tough role at the best of times, no matter who we're playing. It's a thankless task at times. Um, but it's an important it's an important job. And you know, you, you saw the, the impact that Craig McHale Smith made on, uh, on Saturday. Um, and I take great encouragement from seeing how he played, seeing how David played against Lithuania, and also how Kenny played. And 
if people lament that we don't have a lot of options in the forward, area, forward areas, well, you know, for me that I'm comfortable with with the guys we've got.